Francesco, what are you waiting for? Oh, I don't understand you. It's only a sheep. Let's pay for the damn thing and get out of here. Shut up. Francesco, what is the matter with you? Quiet. If I'm not mistaken. Stay there. out of the car. Go on. No, we can make a run for it. You must do as he says. Someone will pick you up in another car soon. Keep quiet and you'll be in no danger. Hurry up! Are they taking you away? Please don't whisper. They have to hear what we're talking about. Are they taking you away? Yes. Hurry up and get out. Where are they taking you? You haven't time to ask questions. Just do as they tell you or we'll be in worse trouble. Go on. For God's sake. Here. Drive until you reach the Sierra. Then take the road to Nuoro. Continue on for a hundred yards. Then stop. Drive slowly. Now you. Throw that sheep in the ditch. Go on. Do as I tell you. Punta Conedi. Are you going that way? We ran over a sheep. It was an accident. We wanted to pay for it, but there's no one there. I was with him in the car. There's my bag. We must know him. Where are they taking him? Oh. Francesco, my friend. Nobody is taking him anywhere. I don't see anybody in that car with him, do you? Your driving license, logbook and identification, please. Take care what you say. You are holding his life in your hands. What shall I tell him? The truth, of course, that you stopped us and asked for a ride. Thank you. 
Your documents. All in order. Do you want to see my passport? No, if you're a foreigner, it's all right. as far as we take you. No. You've seen nobody. Nobody. Thank you. Good morning, Fiorina. Buongiorno, signorina. There should be a room reserved from Rome in my name. Fisher, Christina Fisher. Yes, here it is, signorina. Would you leave your passport for me, please? Signorina, there's a friend of yours waiting to see you, uh, Dr. Magrini. Shall I tell him you've arrived? Thank you, but don't say anything for the moment. I want to arrest well, Signorina. You have no baggage, Signorina? No, not even a toothbrush. Would you like me to open the window? No, here. Thank you. Christina Fisher. I'm a friend of your son's. Uh, he's been taken away. Yes, taken away. You mean he's been kidnapped? No, don't. The police would be useless. Exactly where did they do it? You haven't a chance. Don't you dare. You don't understand. The boy's life depends on it. Who was it? For you? Yes. Francesco. Oh. This time they've chosen us. Don't say anything. If anyone wants to know where he is, he's gone to Rome. You've got to behave as if nothing has happened. Uh, uh, can't, I'm not strong. Yes, you can. You have to try, that's all. Everyone must think that he's gone out of town. Uh, uh, Otherwise, he'll be killed. Uh, 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 uh.
instead of lying in wait. Where are you going? Francesco's father sent me here. Yes, I realize that. I also know what you've come to tell me. What? To keep quiet, right? To make me an accomplice as a bandit, right? Well, I decided to talk. I'm on my way to the police now to make a statement, all right? Oh. No, it's not all right. I just want to talk to you calmly, without trying to frighten you. I just want to explain something. This is the first time I've been disobedient. Oh, it couldn't matter less how many times I've been here. I know enough already. Are you fond of Francesco? Are you? We grew up together. We were together at university. Do you want to see him alive again, or don't you? Oh, of course I do. You see, you're, you're just like puppets in the hands of the bandit. Your whole mentality, your way of doing things is incomprehensible. I'll never forget that look on Francesco's face, ever. If you report the kidnapping, you'll be condemning Francesco to death. And what am I supposed to do about it? That's what I'm here to tell you. Well, there's no need to be so unpleasant about it. Just promise you won't go to the police. I promise nothing. If you don't care about Francesco, think about your own skin. Are you threatening me? I'm warning you. That's all. As far as you're all concerned, Francesco is in Rome. You are all mad. Absolutely mad. Gavino. Go to your room. Oh, no. Go, 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 go no. upstairs and get some breath. Go. Did you hear anything yet? No, not a single word. But they're around, most likely spying on us. Have you? I've seen the girl. Did you convince her to cooperate? I tried. She was on her way to the police when I stopped her. We'll have to put the fear of God into her. I hope that's what I've managed to do. I waited outside until she turned her light off, just to make sure. What are you doing listening at the door? Go to bed at once. There's no news for the moment. I'll tell you as soon as I hear anything. Don't worry. Try to sleep. Thanks, Gavino. It 
doesn't take long to find out who your friends are at moments like these. I trust you. Yes, Gavino, though our families haven't always seen eye to eye, you know what I'm referring to. That's all the history. Francesca and I never paid any attention to it. Vino. Francesco's car is parked outside. Get up. Take it to Maras. I don't want him to suspect us. Call him and tell him I'll be right over. Get inside. I said get inside. You too, Maria. Don't you understand? Go on. Buongiorno, Signor Mara. Buongiorno, Capitano. Close the doors. Did you see if there was a message? No. Look, maybe in the luggage. The luggage belongs to the girl. Then look under the seats or search the glove compartment. Or the pocket of the door. Life, Gavino. Eighty million lira. How will I find it? Gavino, it's Francesco's handwriting. There's no doubt. Get away! Francesco's alive. Don't you understand? He'll be back soon. Go and lie down. Control yourself! Maria! Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, signor Mara. I'll be back. I tried the bank, but it's no use. With all that property you own, you and your wife could easily... It requires too much time. And besides, I'd realize it once. Let's go in the other room. How much money do you have? Ten million, but I still have to pay the taxes. I will lend you five if you will accept my offer. Thanks. But the rest of it, how do you expect to raise that? I'll sell the land. But how'll I find someone who'll buy it? 
There are many people who are anxious to buy land around here. You shouldn't have any difficulty. Many and yet none. What are you waiting for? I tell you now is the time to sell. Sell, sell every scrap of land you've got. I warn you, you'll regret it if you, if you wait. You miss the only opportunity you'll ever have to get rich. Is your father in? Yes, he is. Okay. If I told anybody about this, they'd never believe it. Christine, we need your help. Have you had news of Francesca? The certificates are all there. I think you're mistaken. Well, you're mistaken because I never stole them. Take him into custody. Go on. <laughs> Catch him! Hey, come back! Don't let him get away! <laughs> for the gracing and not lose money when a ship dies, they still want to replace it. Then the man it was stolen from retaliates, and so it goes on. Oh, let's go. Take me back to my friends now. I've had enough of this. you to deliver the cash to them. This contains the first payment of the ransom. Come on. You just have to forget this suitcase on the train. But why me? Why should I do it? You have to, for Francesco. Go on, get in. 
I'll wait for you at the last station. to make a statement. Better go in. I want to report a kidnapping.
open that door. I said open it. If you don't, we'll come in and get them. Do you understand? You say you've already given them 20 million lire. What is the total amount to be paid? You already know. So you refuse to talk. The girl explained everything you need to know, I think. When will you learn that you'll never get anywhere using these methods in Sardinia? It's about time you understood. It's time for you to realize that when you start to collaborate, we might have a chance to stop all these kidnappings. Or have you an idea that's better? Give me my son alive, officer. I'm not asking for more than that. Use whatever method you like if you can guarantee the boy's life. But you must assist us by telling us who you suspect. Goodbye, Captain. sure way to go about saving Francesco's life. Money. And maybe not even that. I've tried every way. I won't rest until I've sold all my grazing land. All of it. It brings in an income of 10 million a year. It's worth more than 100. But I'd be prepared to give it up for 60. For my son. Unfortunately, with all the bandits around, no one wants grazing land anymore. Why don't you buy it with the credit you can get from the bank? The banks won't give a cent anymore for grazing land. 
The shepherds are the only ones who want it now. They want it for nothing, you know that. The wealth in Sardinia has shifted. Then you'll have to sell the land by the sea. Why don't you tell him so? That's one thing I will not do. <gasps> oh, so you'd rather Francesco was killed? Is that what you mean? <gasps> then you'd be his killer. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Maria. Don't work yourself into a state of hysteria. I'll do all I can, I promise. <laughs> do you think the boy's dead? When did they start to work on the Italy land? I don't know. They weren't there a few days ago. Soon the Maris land will go too. Yes. You better find that money quickly. Otherwise you'll have to sell the place. It's a shame that let it go. Oh, you just like to talk. You know as well as I do that the land has had a buyer reading waiting for God knows how long. Don't get involved, Carlino. Let things take their course. Remember you're worth as much as Francesco. More than Francesco. Exactly. But there is something that doesn't make sense. It used to be a question of sheep and pastures. Now everything is changing. What have shepherds to do with seaside land? What do you mean? I believe there is someone behind this. Someone who guides these people, tells them what to do. Someone with a clever brain, and he's the one who decides where to strike and whom. What are you going to do? Pardon? The best way to capture the fox is with cunning. Selling all I've got, immediately. My boy's life is everything. So if you like, my land by the sea is for sale. You can have it. You know you can count on me to get it back for you at the same rate, any time. I'm indebted to you. I remember this. But before I pay, I want to see him alive first. I want to see him face to face. You, yourself? Yes. I or someone I trust. Maris is willing to pay if they let me see his son alive.
Tosilo. Gavino. You're here about Francesco, aren't you? You must be careful. You must be very careful. Every time I have to come up here on business, I tremble. So, take care. My father didn't want me to come here. <laughs> He's so frightened that he's arranging to sell everything. The pasture and the land by the sea. Oh, really? To whom? Foreigners, I think. A roadblock! Over there. Thank you. Hello, it's me, Gavino. I saw him. He's alive. Yes, that's right. 
An hour ago. Yes. Joy has explained to you sufficiently, I think. There should be no misunderstanding, I sincerely hope. You, Maras, will receive the sum total of 60 million lira for your property as witness this day. Do you mind giving me your signature, sir? Also for your wife. A lifetime signed away to buy my son's life. Will you sign there, please? Thank you. It would give me great pleasure to see the whole lot dead. And another signature here. Sit down. Facing this way. Don't worry. You are not accused of anything. You are merely here to cooperate. I just want you to listen to the voices of some people we have detained. Listen carefully. And let me know if you recognize any of them as the voice you heard during the kidnapping of Francesco Mari. Let's begin. Keep facing this way. But is Francesco still alive? We have every reason to think so. With your help. And a little luck. We'll have him back by tonight or tomorrow. Start. Francesco Mara, get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. Mm. Next man. Francesco Mara, get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. Repeat it. Francesco Mara. Get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. Next. Francesco Marra, get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. Well, it sounds a bit like him, but it could be a coincidence. Write that down. Go on. Francesco Marra, get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. What's the matter, signorina? Do you know this man? Move along. How do you know him? We're friends. Francesco Maras, get in the car and drive off. Leave the girl behind. No. Uh, how long have you known him? If you treat me like a suspect, I demand to see a lawyer. And until I do, I refuse to answer any more questions. Would you mind coming with me? Where? You'll see. Look at them without them seeing. No, you must see them at close quarters. On your feet. Come on, get up. One of these men. Think carefully. 
Remember that they were also seen by the police who stopped them at the roadblock. None of these men was in the car that took me to Odzieri. Why was Signor Dogali brought here? What has he got to do with these people? Experience has taught us to suspect everyone, even the victim's friends. Then why didn't you suspect me as well? Signorino, you are cooperating with us. Have you finished? For the moment. You're right. One can't. Not when a life is at stake. They're happy here. is another world. Here, violence calls for violence. The same as it always has. But you must rebel. The shepherd rebels. The bandit rebels. But I'm Gavino Dorgani, son of Santo, grandson of Renzo. They paid for that land with their blood. And I intend to defend it. Your father, perhaps, but you're young. Maybe you're right. But first, I have an account to settle.
Where's my father? He's in there. They're after me. Are you sure? Yes, strange. Maras has already made his last payment. And already. You stay here. And they won't get you. I won't live in a cage. If they capture me, it's because I stopped them, provoked them. Do you know what you're saying? Yes, I want them to kidnap me. And I'm going to make it easy for them. Now I'm certain I was right. I want to talk to the bandits. Face to face. And I'm going to. You're out of your mind. Sign your properties over to me, all of them. So if they take you, I won't be able to pay. No. I won't give anything to anyone. Not the land to you. Nor you to the bandits. Having no power over you, they will have to deal with me. Trust me. Or do you want me to leave the island? All right. But do it quickly. Bring the notary here. And tell him nothing. It's better that you go. They mustn't get their hands on me until we are ready. Right. down by a mountain road. Major here? Yes, give me details. to use the phone. Here. That's you, Papa. No. I've decided to go through with it. You know who to watch.
Where's Davino? Where is he? He's gone to Rome. That's not true. If he's gone looking for Francesco, he's wasting his time. He must be warned. There'll be no way of warning him. Now you'll have to give Martus back his land. You promise? How can I? I don't know if I can get it back. I didn't buy it for myself. I hear you're selling yours. Is that true? Have you already sold it?
Hello? Miss Fisher? Oh, yes. I want to speak to Mr. Santo Dorgali, please. Yes, it's me. Come here immediately. I have to talk to you. Listen. Don't speak to anybody. young man. So you wanted to make me a proposal, huh? <laughs> well, now. We'll make you one. Sit down. And write. You'll be shot if you make a false move. I'm getting impatient. Someone is betraying you. Now shut up and write. Your father's a rich man, isn't he? How much will he pay? Nothing. I'll tell you how much. You're worth as much as... Fifty million. He won't even pay one million. I'm sure he'll pay it. He'll want his boy alive. All fathers are alike. My father owns nothing. He can find someone to borrow from. When a person possesses land, it's not difficult. The property belongs to me. I am the owner. You're lying! You're lying! You're... I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Let me go! I'll kill him! Kill... Tell me the truth! If you don't believe me, ask the notary. When did you become the owner? Yesterday. Look me in the eye, Gavino Dolgari. I am Toda Giovanni. You will have seen pictures of my face. I swear by the Blessed Virgin that if you are lying to me, I'll beat you to death. The traitor is someone else. Who is it? I don't believe you. I want to kill him myself. <laughs> That's why I wanted to talk to you. Who? Tell me! Osiro. Yes. That's who I'm talking about. You have no idea of the advantages taken. 
He gives you peanuts. It dearly sold out for 40 million lira, when it was worth 100. How much of that got to you? More than you landowners gave us when we were shepherds. When life was simple for us. And Mars, in order to save his son's life, had to sell everything for 80 million lira. What are you saying, Dorgali? That's not the amount we asked for. Thirty was the figure written in the ransom note. I tell you, he had to pay out eighty. Haven't you understood yet? But I think you've forgotten who's asking the question. Shut up! What was the first payment? Twenty million. By God, if you're lying. No one will see you alive again. It was Solinas who took the car to Maras with the letter of Francesco's in it. I want him here. But Osilo has his own reasons for betraying you. Up here, survival depends on the friendship of the peasants, the locals. Nothing can change that. Their relations and friends. They believe that with all these kidnappings, we are being stripped of our grazing lands. Well, isn't that right? You are mistaken if you think Ozil is making us sell those. Huh? The poor men of this place don't interest him at all. He wants to get his hands on seaside land. And there are plenty read and waiting for it. The land the speculators want for building hotels and villas. For the rich. Are you trying to tell me the shepherds won't support us now? They can't be against us. We are friends. I've brought you facts, not opinions. All right. What do you want from me? Osilo. I told you. I want him brought here at once! I want Osilo! Solinas! And Cardo! Now!
Where is it? Why did you have me brought here? This is no time to be seen traveling around. It's a very good time. I want to buy half of eateries pasture land. But no discount. I want to pay what you did. Why in such a hurry? Because I know, Ocelo. You don't possess them anymore, my friend. Give me two days. So he was right to call you a vile blood sucker. Who said so? He did. Have you gone crazy? Why isn't he blindfolded? Now you'll have to kill him. You took half the Maras ransom money as well, making us responsible for the boy's death. <laughs> gotten it tomorrow. I already gave it to him. I don't know what you're talking about, Osilo. You're an imbecile, do you hear? Don't bring me into it. Oh, no!
Drive. Drive. All right. I'll drive now. Tavino. 